everyone, it's Sandra here and I'm looking in on my Amazon tape bucket where I'm trying to establish whether all of Amazon tape, even those little threads, those reinforced um, what look like fiberglass or something strands will completely disappear in a worm bin. It's actually been 15 days since I looked in on this bin and so we'll see. I noticed the level is considerably lower than it has been. I've now stopped giving this bin any more Amazon tape. You can see I've given it a piece of normal newspaper here, normal, <laughs> non-Amazon tape carbon. And I, you know, the Amazon tape that I was giving did have elements of other bits of cardboard in it. So these worms were not deprived of cardboard through this experiment. Uh, so let's just take a look and see how the bin is doing. Like I said, 15 days. There's a there's a sprout of something coming up. Not unusual in a worm bin. Let's just see. I imagine these worms are hungry. This is longer than I would normally leave a system of this size. However, I really want to see what the worms will do with this tape. And I fed the worms on top of the tape. And you can see these um, straggly bits. And there are some of the threads still evident. So these straggly bits is what is remaining of long um, stretches of Amazon tape that I ripped off uh, Amazon boxes. So there is... There is what's happening to this tape. It looks like the um, middle bits between those threads is slowly dissolving, certainly becoming more fragile. I still see those little threads. I'm not sure if you can see them standing off against my finger there. I still see little threads hanging out. And you know, I just started to pull and you can see a big long thread coming out of the bedding there itself. So let's give these worms another week then. I was hoping we would be able to definitively say one way or the other pretty soon. Uh, they're working at it. <laughs> they're trying to get to it. If there's anything edible in there, uh, probably still uh, fragments of the feeding maybe at the microbial level. Um, let's just hope these worms will give us some confidence that if you're not super diligent about removing every scrap of tape from your boxes, uh, the worms will take care of it. So it looks like it's just uh, lather, rinse, repeat this, um, well, it's two weeks. Uh, worms are still fine and active. Uh, so I will just repeat what I did 15 days ago, which is, you know, fluff this bucket bin. The level has dropped a lot, so it's a lot easier for me to get my hands to the bottom, which I noted last time is sometimes a challenge with the bucket bin. These worms are doing just fine. Not a super high population in here. This was an experiment, so I was tentative in populating this bin until I realized the worms were fine and then I oops sorry for the jiggling and then I added a few more worms but uh, you know not a huge population so it's, it's just an experimental bucket however they have done a really good job eating the challenge that I gave them last time so there we go and, and creating some beautiful vermicompost I'm not going to use this in my garden, my edible garden, if I see elements of that tape left over. So, you know, there are those threads. So this is what we're trying to prove. Do those threads disappear? So I'm trying to, when I see bits of the Amazon tape, I'm trying to put them over here and then I'm going to feed over in that area. There we go. This feeding is just my regular food scraps that has eggshell powder already blended into it. 
This was, I think, a tub of salad greens that went bad on us. So I'll smush that into there, and obviously a little something orange in there. Not pumpkin. This is actually not pumpkin. This is older food scraps than my Halloween um, stash of pumpkins. I think that's enough food for this uh, for this bin. I think maybe a tiny bit more. I'll give it a tiny bit more food. Just stretch it out from corner to corner. Cover up all this Amazon tape. There we go. And I'll just give them some carbon in the form of some shredded cardboard. Because, like, I didn't see any evidence of any cardboard remaining in there other than, or any carbon remaining in there other than the newspaper that was on top. So I'll take this vermicompost and spread it on top. Oh, I guess I've got a little bit of Amazon tape on the top. So I haven't quite leveled this bin. It's still a bit higher on this side, but that's our check-in on the Amazon tape experiment. Let me know your experiences with Amazon tape and uh, maybe we'll come to some conclusions. I live in Canada. The Amazon tape in Canada could very well be different than it is elsewhere in the world. All right, everyone, take care. But bye for now.